I, I mean, this sounds hokey, but I kid you not, somebody provided every single time. There were days after school we'd come in here and there would be just donations in the hallway. Um, there were days when David and I would say, okay, one of us will mind the store and the other one's going to go to the Dollar General to buy notebook paper because we need notebook paper to get through the next hour. Um, but the community and our donors and sponsors have, have truly been more amazing than I ever thought they would be. Um, to the point where last year we gave out over one million dollars in school supplies in one school year. So that's that's incredible and it's someplace I never thought we would be. Well, uh, Barnes & Nobles was nice enough to give us some of the stuff when they moved from one location to the next. They, they had a larger building and so they were nice enough to give us some of their extra stuff and, and we um, kind of a uh, Warped it, morphed, morphed it into um, something that we could use here in the store. Yeah. David, come here. I said, David, can you believe that this has gone on for 10 oh. years? Is it and is I it said, bad? yeah, it's, it is hard to believe because you remember how big Ryan was when we were trying to open this. My, I had, had a baby, a little baby. Let me back up to when we were still planning this store, she you told me that you were going to have a baby. Yeah, she wasn't even really born yet. We were, we were still yes. getting together talking and about it. And I remember it. visiting a gift for teaching in Orlando with you, and I walked through there and I thought, we'll never be able to do this. This is too much. And in the same breath, she had designed the logo before we made it to the turnpike. <laughs> That's true. Well, I had something uh, designed for us, but yes. you, But you were on your phone. I was okay. driving, she was on the phone, and this was designed before we made it to But account. you were correct. Once you saw it, you couldn't say no. <laughs>